First and foremost, before we get started, I'd like to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekha Kadash, and the Monsell's Great Millstone, Wild Lunch's Truth, and also to the Ophelet, that's Sky Lebra. I'd like to say, Shalom, and come back here today with another great and powerful lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So the type of day lesson is lean not unto thy own understanding. So I like to say shalom to all our listeners and learners. Hope this will be today and guide you back in the path of righteousness and back to your true power, which in fact is Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So before we start the day lesson, let's go to the book of Zephaniah chapter 3 and verse 5. The just Lord is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning do he bring his judgment to light. He fell is not, but the unjust knoweth no shame. So that about so the Lord is bringing his judgment to uh to light each and every day. So judgment is now at hand. And that about we seeing that you know what the love of men is constantly waxing colder and colder. So we seeing what the end is being met for right before our eyes. So the Lord's getting ready what to you know to bring that what recompense and judgment. You know, so so we seeing a lot of people are constantly what have that do thy will spirit, love to do wick. Wickly each and every, you know, they, they, they hate the good and they, they love the evil. Not about, we seeing that, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people, you know, are not considered. A lot of people are what going on with their daily life. You know what I'm saying? You don't even know that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh you know, at, at any, uh, uh, given time, you know, all of a sudden, you know what I'm saying? All hell can break loose. You know what I'm saying? So we seeing a lot of things are happening. You know what I'm saying? And they're going to constantly what intensify, you know what I'm saying? You know, right before what the great and glorious return of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua. So a lot of things are happening. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people what are leaning on their own understanding. They're walking in great pride. So the Lord said He's getting ready what to cease the heresy of the proud. So we knowing that we're here. You know, so we have a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? The two third. You know what I'm saying? They're uh they're unjust. You know, knowing. No shame. And I buy, you know, so so we knowing that right now, you know, so we seeing a lot of uh, increased violence, you know, increased uh what iniquity, you know, abomination, things that are what displeasing to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Because what? A lot of our people what? Are leaning on their what own understanding. They're not what trusting and believing in their true power, which in fact is Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. So in the news in uh Hot Springs, uh Arkansas. Uh, it were reports that a uh, mother uh, sent two of her daughters in a uh, beauty salon and they both were killed. And I about it said it stemmed from a uh, incident that went down between a what a man. So uh, it was a lot of uh, 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 strife and envy was going on between this other woman and uh, about this man. So that is about it. so she sent her two daughters and they was put to death and she fled the scene. So one thing about it, so you're going to see a lot of these things happen left and right. You know, the Lord is causing that division and out about, you know, even, uh, uh, your own loved ones, like their mother, uh, uh, had her own daughters put to death. So a lot of these things, it's going to constantly happen, you know, sons, sons and, 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 and fathers, you know what I'm saying? A lot of things will happen. The Lord said we cause that division. You know what I'm saying? The uh, uh, the uh, the members of your own household will be your worst nightmare, will be your enemy. So all these things are happening just like clock where the Lord is calling that division. The Lord is bringing forth that judgment. And I, but we're seeing it happening each and every day. So judgment is going out at a fast pace. And once again, first, his judgment will start at the what? The house of Israel, the Negroes, the Latinos, the Native Indians, the Native, uh, the Native Indians, uh, the Mexican. And I about so right now, so the Lord's getting ready to what? The purge out the rebel. So we Seeing this happening every day, you know, all this different uh senseless uh killing, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna it's gonna constantly uh escalate. It's not gonna get in uh, uh no better, it's gonna get worse and worse, you know what I'm saying? So we seeing that we're coming upon what the beginning of sorrow. A lot of things is happening. So that woman, you know what I'm saying, she was a what a bad mother, you know what I'm saying? So you know what I'm saying, mothers and daughters both had the same mindset. They were leaning on on on, on their own understanding. And I about it. So she sent her her daughters uh to the slaughter. And I about you know so so hey man that was judgment from who Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So one thing about it is that you know what I'm saying hey man don't whether it's no respect a person. So I have a few short videos and I have videos we will start the lesson and I hope that you will get edified. Beauty shops 
shooting in Hot Springs have been identified as 19 and 22-year-old sisters. Some witnesses say the sisters, along with their mother, went into that beauty supply store to confront a co-worker there. Excuse me, not a co-worker, just a worker there. Now two people are dead. One's on the run, and another one is in hiding. Three people went inside the store Wednesday, but only one came out. Hot Springs police confirm 19-year-old Mernea Myers and her sister, 22-year-old Monteria Myers, and their mother went into Simply Unique Hair Beauty Supply to confront one of the workers. They got in a fight with that employee. Witnesses say the worker was badly beaten, grabbed a gun, and shot at the women. One sister died at the scene, the other died at the hospital. Their mother got in a black car and drove off, as witnessed by multiple leaf shooter, was taken in for questioning but not arrested. Now those in the area say they worry about retaliation and are keeping quiet. They say the beauty shop worker and the owner have left the city for safety. The whole incident leaving to question who was the real victim. Hey guys, it's your girl comedian Ray Diva, y'all favorite comedian. And let me tell y'all, this story makes me sick. I told y'all I was sick of the world, and this is why. Because right there, you have Monteria Myers and Mineria Myers. These two young ladies were sent to their death by their own mother. That's right, y'all heard what I said. I'm so fucking disgusted at this story. It makes me mad every time I read about it. Anywho, anywho, because I'm going to bring y'all up to date on this story. The, the story goes, this is all alleged, that the mother was having an ongoing dispute over a man, right? And the, the person who she was having a dispute with owns or works in a beauty salon in Arkansas. So at some point, uh, an argument ensued at the mother's home the night before the actual incident happened. I don't know what happened. I don't know if it was an argument or a fight, but it was some type of disturbance at her home. So the next day, this lady grabs her two daughters. Send them into the salon with her scary ass to fight this lady, right? Mind you, they go into the salon, argument starts, the fight starts, and they're tussling. And at which time the owner or the lady in the salon grabs her gun, shoot both of the girls. One of them dead on the scene. The other one died at the hospital. I believe it was Monteria that was shot in the back of her head. Right. That's a question mark. Now, anywho, anywho. You think the mom went in and checked on her daughters? No fucking ma'am. She left. What kind of piece of shit mom sends their daughters to their death and then leaves? Like, I'm so angry. So, when, when the salon owner or whoever the lady in the salon started to shoot at them, these girls actually tried to leave. They were retreating. But, in Arkansas, the law is, allegedly, even if the suspects are retreating... If you still feel like you are in danger, you can use deadly force. So the deputy prosecutor, Ms. Kava Petro, stated that the homicides were justified. Wow. Two beautiful girls lost their life for a dumbass mother. Stupid as shit. You allowed a man. You gave zero fucks about your daughter. Because I'd have never sent my daughters in there anyway without me. If I want to say, let's go, bitch, all of us going. You sent them to their death. Then you left them girls like you're the piece of shit, mom. So we see that, you know, we're going to see more and more things like this happen, you know, on a on a greater level. You know what I'm saying? Things, you know, you know, that's judgment, you know, from the Lord. So we seeing that the mother, she didn't give a damn about her daughter. You know what I'm saying? You know, the mother, uh, you know what I'm saying? And the, and the daughters were just alike. So. Hey, man, we're seeing it, man. The Lord's constantly bringing forth that judgment. You know, it's coming. So let's just start out in the book of Matthew, chapter, a very quick lesson through the Spirit. And once again, I hope that you will get edified. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 12. And it reads, said, And because iniquity shall abound, the love of, of many shall wax uh, shall wax cold. So we're seeing that, you know what I'm saying, that, you know, uh, we're seeing that what violence is increasing. We're seeing what the love of many, you know, people are hating one another. We're seeing that, you know, people going to what be betraying one another and out about, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of those, you know, we're seeing this like this is constantly happening. You know what I'm saying? Also, right. You know, I put out a lesson the other day about uh, that, uh, that uh, hundred, a hundred car pileup uh, 
in uh, Louisiana. So a lot of things happen. A lot of people uh, lost their life there too because, you know, Lord is constantly bringing forth that judgment. So, you know, say, hey, man, you got to watch, pray, and be sober because, hey, man, we're in these times. Also, we read upon what Jacob's trouble, a time of trouble that we've never seen before. Let's read this once again. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 12. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of a minute shall wax cold. And I about so we already knowing that what well, wickedness is what will, will what be increased. You know, violence shall increase. The love of many shall wax cold. You know, mean you know, you know, a lot of people are not gonna regard their brothers, their sisters, their mothers and daughters, our sons and fathers. You know what I'm saying? The Lord is bringing forth that division. You know what I'm saying? The Lord is getting ready to bring forth recompense and judgment. And now that we we're we're here, we seeing it happening. Right before I and also these Bible prophecies are speaking loud and clear. We are here. So, hey, man, one thing about it, you know, when you lean on your own understanding, those things will happen. You know what I'm saying? Because what? You do not trust in your true power. You do not trying to walk in the path of rice. And I have a lot of our people who love wicked. You know, they love to be wicked. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, they don't know the Lord. So let's go here to Jeremiah chapter uh, four. One moment. Jeremiah chapter four. Very quick lesson through the spirit. Jeremiah chapter 4 and verse 22. Jeremiah chapter 4 and verse 22. He said, for my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sadist children and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. So, so one thing about them, they are wise to do evil. So you see that she sent her daughters uh, to, to their death. And, I, and, and one thing about it, she showed no, what, no regard. You know what I'm saying? That was very what? Uh, Sidious. You know what I'm saying? If you very what? Stupid. You know what I'm saying? They, they don't know the Lord because what? They're leaning on their own understanding. So one thing about it, you know, that's what's wrong with the two there. They are that rebellious house that did not want to return to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh So when it's come to doing something right, they have what? No knowledge. You know what I'm saying? So one thing about it, wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of the time. And also, you know what I'm saying? My people, you know, when you go to Hosea chapter four, verse six, my people are destroyed all day long for what? A lack of knowledge. You know what I'm saying? So one thing about it, man, we're going to constantly see things like this each and every day. And not about, hey man, this, you know, you got to know the what? You got to know the what? The terrors of the law. You know what I'm saying? The law is getting ready to bring it, you know, each and every day, man. The two thirds are getting ready to be slaughtered. And I bet they are walking charcoal. And I bet one thing, but they think it's a game, but the game's about to be over. Let's read this once again. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 40 and verse 22 said, For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sadist children. They have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge and out about so that's what's wrong with our people you know what i'm saying a lack of knowledge you know what i'm saying they are wise to do evil you know what i'm saying the love of many is waxing colder and cold the lord is bringing forth that what that variance that what division and out about hey man the lord's getting ready to bring it and we're constantly warning you left and right you know whether you were here whether you will for better the prophet we constantly warn you left and right all these things are happening you know what i'm saying through the spirit of power yahweh by hashim yahweh let's go here to luke chapter 21 Luke chapter 21, Luke chapter 21 and verse 16. <clears throat> and he reads, really said, and ye shall be betrayed both by parents and brethren and kinfolks and friends. And some of you shall they call to be put uh, to death. So I'm using this scripture in a twofold, you know what I'm saying? But one thing about it, we know that great persecution had come. You know, a lot of your people will give you up, you know what I'm saying, when these, when things get very, very bad, when these uh, UN troops come in here, you know, also, you know, for, you know what I'm saying, a lot of our people are, are, are going to line up, you know, they're going to trust in this fallen uh, system, you know what I'm saying, so this is a twofold, but I'm using it that, you know, that, you know, the Lord is, is going to turn your own mother, your own father, you know what I'm saying, your, your loved ones against you. You know what I'm saying? Because what? You was rebased. And also what? You lean on your own understanding. You know, not trusting in believing in your true power. We're not about a lot of people what going to trust in the what? The strength of Egypt. We already know that we read upon what? The MOTB. We already know that, hey, man, it's on the verge. You know, war is imminent. You know what I'm saying? World War Three. you know, it has begun. And things are getting ready to pick up. We seeing it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, so pretty much, you know, we're here. You know, so 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 all these things that that's keep happening 
every day and something like this is going on. So this lady, she showed no regard. She's not losing any sleep, but the Lord, the Lord, hey man, she go, she got hell to pay. You know what I'm saying? Those are the two turns. Let's read this again. It says, uh, Luke chapter 21 and verse 16, it says, and ye shall be betrayed both by parents and brethren and kinfolks and friends, and some of you shall they call to be put to death. So that's what happened with this, this, hey man, and she was a parent, you know what I'm saying? It really wasn't a good parent. Well, what happened? You know, she had her daughters, you know what I'm saying? Caused them to be put to death, you know, through her what? Through her ignorance, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, you know what I'm saying? One thing about it is that, you know, hey man, this is it's ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? But one thing about it is that, hey man, we know that things like this, it's going to constantly happen every day. Judgment is now at hand. We are here. It is at the door. So we're going to see the body count is going to constantly what? Going to get greater and greater. You know what I'm saying? We're here. So um, let's go here to uh, Ezekiel. Something I want to get out of Ezekiel chapter 16, and then we'll get the title of the day lesson. We'll close out. Let's go here to Ezekiel chapter 16. I'm going to use this scripture and a twofold too. Let's see. Uh, Ezekiel chapter 16, something I want to get out of here. Ezekiel chapter 16 and verse uh, 44. Ezekiel chapter uh, 16 and verse 44. Let's, let's highlight this right quick. <clears throat> Ezekiel chapter 16 and verse 44 said, Behold, Everyone that uses Proverbs uh, shall use this proverb against thee, saying, as is the mother, so is her daughters. And out about this in reverence to, uh, it's talking about Israel, you know, so, so you know, but one thing about it is that I'm using it in a, a twofold, but, but basically what it's saying is that, you know, so the, 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 the daughters are just like the mother or the mother, you know, they, you know, they, they together. So basically what it's saying, I'm using it in a, uh, a twofold sense, sense, you know what I'm saying? In a modern sense, you know, that the the daughters, the daughter, they had a, a mother, a bad mother, you know what I'm saying? And I about so it would really cause them to be put to death. You know what I'm saying? You know, the mother was wicked and also uh, their daughters were wicked. And also this goes into uh this scripture right here goes back into when uh when uh, uh, uh Israel uh went into the land of Cana, you know. So they what this basically saying is that, you know, that uh uh, uh Canaan, the land of Canaan was the mother, you know what I'm saying? Also there they they was the daughter. So what this meaning is that that they uh, took on, they did the same wickedness that the Canaanites did. That's what this basically is saying, but I'm using it in a modern sense, if you can understand. I'm hoping I didn't confuse anyone. So like it. But anyway, but one thing about it is that, so the mother, you know what I'm saying, and the daughters, you know what I'm saying, both were what wicked. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, so that about the mother's wickedness uh, got her own daughters killed. You know, because what they they lean on their own understanding. You know what I'm saying? So one thing about it is that, you know, so anything the Lord is not in it, you know, it's going to lead to what death and destruction. So we see it that we hear. So a lot of our people are, are, are really are, are walking in the congregation of the dead because what they're leaning on their own understanding, They're not trusting in the Lord. They're walking in great pride, you know, it's thinking that they have a uh, 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 free will and not about, you know, the Lord is in perfect control. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people get ready to be in a, for a rude awake because judgment is going to constantly go out like this every day. Let's read this once again. It said Ezekiel chapter 16 and verse uh, 44, behold, everyone that uses Proverbs uh, shall use this proverb uh, against thee, saying, as, as as is the mother, so is her daughter. Say, as is the mother, so is her daughter. So one thing about it is that you know, so this was a bad mother, and out about so she, you know, what I'm saying the, the the daughters follow in her way. You know, what I'm saying the mother was wicked, and also the daughters were wicked, and also they was what put to death and the mother fled and out about, you know what? She betrayed her own children. You know what I'm saying? That just like the Lord said, you know, Lord's causing that division, you know what I'm saying? Causing 
people to what? To betray one another. They shall offend one another. So these things are getting ready to happen. It's getting ready to happen on a what? On a greater level. You know what I'm saying? Things are getting ready to pick up. You know what I'm saying? The boiling point. We are, uh, we are rejoicing because what? We know that what? Our salvation is very close. And not about through much tribulation, ye shall enter the kingdom of heaven. So we see it. Hey, man, this is, hey, man, this, these, these things don't constantly happen. You know what I'm saying? 24-7. You know what I'm saying? It's going to get, you know, because the Lord is purging out the rebels. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man. And also the devil is getting ready to come down with great wrath. <laughs> hey, man, we're here. So let's go here to our last and final script. So like, I don't mean to be rambling. Let's go here to uh, Proverbs chapter 3. We'll close out here. Title of the day. Let's, Proverbs chapter 3 and verse uh, 5. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5. And he reads that, Trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not unto thy own understanding. Verse 6. In all thy ways acknowledge or confess him and he shall direct thy path. Verse 7 said, but be not wise in thy own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. And one thing about it, that's the number one thing that is wrong with our people. They do not fear the Lord. You know what I'm saying? They're not even trying to uh, seek the Lord. And that's why they'll get ready to perish. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey one thing about it, though, we're going to seek things. Like this 24-7, judgment is constantly going out. And I'd about, hey, the Lord said, I come not to bring peace, but a sword. Hey, man, hey, man, we are here. It is at the door. Let's read this once again. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 55 said, trust in, said, trust in the Lord with all thy heart or, or your mind and lean not unto thy own understanding. You know, that's what's going on with the two there. They, they, they thinking that they have free will. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they in for a rude work. Verse six, it said, in, said, in all thy ways, acknowledge or confess him and he shall direct thy path. And I about to say, but hey, our people, you know what I'm saying? They, 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 man, it's they, just ridiculous. Verse 17 said, said, be not wise in thy own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. Now about the two thirds don't fear the Lord. You know what I'm saying? They they love evil and hate the what the good. And not about they have no knowledge of you know something that is is good. You know what I'm saying? They don't have no knowledge in their true power, which in fact is Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh You know what I'm saying? That's the path of righteousness. But that about you know they don't want that right now. You know what I'm saying? They are the two third. They're getting ready to be destroyed on this side. Two part very end shall be cut off and die. You know what I'm saying? Hey, cause we, hey, we seeing it. You know these things are going to happen. There are no respect a person. So the title of the daily lesson, once again, is lean not unto thy own understanding. So I like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rikakadash. I like to say Shalom, Shalom.